Good morning, my little uh, pre-work streamers. Oh, how are you all today? I was just really enjoying the Minecraft music there. And just like taking a moment to chill just before it all starts. Beginning of the day, another day. Trying to look ahead and say, oh, you know, clean slate, start again try and make another day but I'm so looking forward to the weekend I really really am looking forward to the weekend and I'm gonna get kicked off by playing some Minecraft so yesterday when I was here we witnessed the birth of our first little baby villager and I'm going in hoping to see there's no being disasters or anything here this morning. Oh, I hear some noises. And, oh, look at this. We have two very different villagers here this morning. What the heck's going on here? A butcher. Yep, we have a butcher and he's changing, uh, blah, blah, doing pork and chicken. And, oh, I've obviously arrived at, oh, there's obviously been another birth overnight. We now have a little community of four villagers. Oh, my God, look at that. That's awesome. And how have they been doing out here? Look, the burn is still going. Is that a fifth villager? Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. That's so cool. I don't know why he's out there sleeping. There is, there is, there is another bed, dude. Do you know it's night time? What? Who are you? Oh, you're the ah, you're the one I've already traded with. You're obviously not scared of the dark. No. Okay. Let's have a little look round. Has anything else changed? Looks like there's lots been lots of grass eating going on here. Yep, all the animals have grown up. The berry bushes. Dude, dude, like, move. Like, go to bed. Yeah, you. You're gonna die out here. You need to go to bed. Come on. Come on. In you go. Bed. Bedtime. You know it. There we go. There we go. In you go. Thank goodness for that. So, I think the carrots. Look, there's loads of carrots. They, there's definitely a love of carrots by the villagers. Because there's loads of them growing. That's a really good sign. Uh, there's a little dark spot here. Yeah, I'm just going to light that up. Um, another one over there. There, we're gonna, really going to have to get in here and do a night session. Checking out all the light levels because I really can't afford to have zombies coming in here and giving us loads of grief. Just not deal with it. Not deal with it at all. So we need to start trading with these villagers and actually locking their trades in. That's going to be really important. Right. So there must be a spare bed in here. Um. Right, okay, I'd, um, excuse me, I don't, don't mind me, he just looked away, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to hop in with, with you, uh, just for a minute, and of course it's going to rain, isn't it, it's going to rain, instant I wake up, yeah, there was nowhere else to sleep, I just, I got, I, I didn't touch you at all, Wow, this is a busy little community. Woohoo! Oh, this is very exciting. So we have three. Right, let's let's check out their traits. Right, what have you got? You're a novice and you do the whole wheat and beetroot thing. We don't have any beetroot. We do have wheat. Of sorts. Now you sir. Sir? Sir, hello. Hello. Sir? Yeah, you. So, oh, you're my novice, and you've still got like a silver thing on your on your badge thing. Where's the other one go? 
Did you just slit? Oh, you're over there. D excuse me. Excuse me. Ah, oh, you're a carrot. Oh, you like the whole carrot thing. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Is we're going to grab some carrots then. How many did you want? Oh, they're having a chat, but 22, 22 carrots. There must be 22 carrots here. I might not nick all the carrots. At 13. Some more down here. 15, 16, 17, 18, 22. Where'd he go? Does I really want to lock these trades in? Are you the you're not the carrot guy? Are you the carrot guy? Oh, lag. Everyone stand still. No many move. Oh, there we go. Horrible. I've got to, dude. Look, I've got twenty-two carrots. Excuse me. Ah, oh, now you want to trade with me? Come here then. Uh -huh. See, you like me now. Yep, you're now locked. Uh, the villager. Uh, what have you got? You're locked. And you? Are you locked? No, I can't lock you because I need wheat to do that. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm in the way. Apparently. Right. Let's go check out these guys in here. We've got a little community. Very exciting. Hello. Her. Oh, you got a deeper voice. Uh, sorry, am I in your way? What? Oh. Raw chicken and pork. I don't think I've got any of that. I, I I tend to cook my stuff. Oh, he's, he's not very happy with me. What about this guy? Raw pork and rabbit. Pork, basically. Okay, I'm... Oh. I'm going to go now because I just feel really uncomfortable with them two there like that. They're like proper staring me out. So shall I go and see if I can find some piggies? Let's go find some piggies and we can lock their trades in. That might be good. Uh, I think there were pigs in that direction. Let's go exploring. Because we don't have any piggies here. Excuse me. Sk excuse me. Coming through. Thank you very much. Right, let's go look. Uh, we need about 20, don't we? I'll just eat my raw beef as I go along here. Here, picky, 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 pickies. Where are the pickies? Go in this general direction. They're normally in like planes, aren't they? Look at that. That's pretty cool from there. I think that's a pretty awesome. I'm really pleased I got them. So excited about that. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, I need to update this server so that I've got better render distance for the mobs. Because it's not loading them, to just to try and help with the lag. Yeah, you're a cow. You're not what I want. So actually, hopefully, might actually increase the borders as well I'm gonna think I'm thinking of putting Dynamap on which is a mod that allows you to be able to see well I think that's where I come in normally over there uh, you can see the world uh, as a map online which should be quite nice nice little add-on for people what is that oh it's a black horse Oh, what the heck is that? There's a distinct lack of pigs in this direction, isn't it? Ah, piggy. That's unusual. Is there normally like a uh, frowned like that? Don't remember that. Uh, thank you. Free. Oh, there's another one. No, you're not a pig. You, however, are a pig. Six. You have to breed, bring some pigs back and breed them at some point. Nine. I think what about fourteen? I can't remember on that screen how many it said I needed. I know one of them wanted seven. 
If I get about 20, 15, and these are respawn as well. Oh, missed you. 16, so not so worried about that. 18, I see another one on the horizon over there. Let's go get him, go back and trade these in. Oh, looks like we might just died in the, f uh, you just saw death and destruction. So that's a bad end for you, wasn't it? Oh, I found a ravine. That's pretty cool. All right, it's not bad. That's not bad. All right, so we're going to take our squander of pork back to the village and see what they think of that. They're obviously, it's, I think it's quite a nice little combination. You've got farmers and we've got some butchers there. So they're like a little self sufficient community going on. Really nice. Oh, that's a pond. I don't want to walk through that. That's quite nice. I can see that tree in the distance on the horizon, and it's the only one. There's a good way of actually knowing I'm heading back in the right direction. I don't know if I can actually see the smoke from here. Yeah, look at that. You can just about see the smoke coming up in the distance. I've actually been really lucky as well. I've not seen any wandering... Tr um, not wandering tradesmen, the illages, like a patrol. So obviously now this is a village, it's going to be a thing, they're going to like start spawning on the outer edges. Interesting how some of the grass hasn't grown at the beginning of the game. I didn't know that was a thing. Maybe it is. So one of the things that's going to be happening is this area basically is a bit like a steampunky thing so i'm letting this sort of grow organically a bit so we've got these farmers and stuff and everything and there's sort of like going to be starting to say hey, you know guys it's a dangerous world out there we need to like up our production and stuff we need better resources because we've got, you know, little old me wandering around here, helping out. And we need to be doing more things. It seems the butchers are having an argument. Right, I'm going to grab you on the way. Oh, you want an emerald? Have your trades changed? Rabbit stew. Okay, right, well that's you locked. Oh, it's meeting time. They've all come out here. And... Your trades have changed. I just went and got a load of pork. Yours don't change. You're locked. You're locked. You're locked with the whole chicken thing. But, yeah, I, I came here for the whole community chat as well, and now you want raw chicken. Holy poop, where did you come from? We have an iron golem. Damn. Oh, he's in, he, you're in charge, aren't you? It's these butchers. You guys, yeah, you. Look, I brought a whole load of pork look all of this i went and killed a load of pigs for you and now you've changed your trade what is that I, yeah it's all very good you all just having a chat and then wander off back to bed why do you keep getting stuck are you going as well oh my god it's like, are you having a laugh? You can't get in round that side, dude. The bed's round there. 
Round, round that side. Round that. Oh. Look, you're gonna get eaten by something. Round, go. Zombies, nasties. Look, round there. Look, I'm trying not to punch you because the iron golem's gonna like have my head off. Okay, I'm gonna go in and sleep for you. Woohoo! Whole little community in here. This is quite funny. Right, I'm gonna sleep in this bed again. Do 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 do. I've really got to do something about this whole rain thing. I'm just doing my head in. Right, is there any chance you guys have changed your trades again? No. Can't believe I got all this stuff and now you're not going to eat it. I went miles. Sorted your stuff out. Very inconsiderate. If I don't have that much raw chicken. And if I go and kill Halo's chickens, she will not be impressed. No. I could go and... Maybe I could, like, get a hopper going with some eggs and stuff and see if there's... Can't kill the chicken. Can't kill that many chickens. I don't even know how many chickens we've got over here. It's a good job she's not named them. I'd be in trouble then. Let's go and have a look. I'm not going to touch the ones inside the house, obviously. The horse just walked through the fire there. Did you see that? Uh, there's quite a few in there. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get 14 chickens from that lot, am I? I've not left any eggs. My egg spawning is not working at the moment for some reason. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to kill all those chickens. When he wanted pork, and now I've come back, and he's changed his mind. It's like, oh, jokes, man, jokes. Villagers are inconsistent. Incons right, so, first thing I want to do is, I want to get some more of these berry bushes going. So, I'm just going to knock a load of these out. These are an awesome defense mechanism against mobs coming in. And me, because they tend to slow me down from being able to walk. That uh, uh, missed the berry bushes. Halo found loads of these the other day. Go and just start filling up the perimeter with them. That way, the nasty mobs, when they come around the edge, I think it looks nice having the berries around the outside as well. Just to make them a little bit random. Oh, one spare one there, put that there. Just makes it a bit more difficult for the mobs to come in and attack us. Thank you. Oh, it's a cat! Oh no, no, don't run away. Oh, sneak. I sneak. Can I get close? Oh, I can hear the puddy cat. Where's the puddy cat going? Uh, he's, he's in the water. Where are, you go where are you going? I didn't think cats liked water. If I go over this way, maybe I'll scare him back in the direction of the village. Yeah. He's swimming with the fishies. He's a he's a skitty little thing. Well, I need some fish and make friends with him and then Yeah, if I scare you back in the direction of the village. There you go. He's gonna be running around in the village now. Go on, back to the village. There you go, pretty cat. And then what I'll do is, uh... Halo! Hello! I found a pretty cat. I'm trying to get close enough to get a screenshot. Keeps walking off. 
These are really difficult to get near. Uh, no, cat spotted. Yep, that's it. So, oh, I didn't realise you were lurking there in the background. Yeah, so we now have five villagers. There's a fish back at the main base. Oh, okay. I've got to be able to get close enough to it. And they've spawned a golem in as well. They're pretty scary. I was a bit disappointed because I went and... Um, Hello, how are you doing? See you're busy at work. Yeah, I can see you're busy at work, Halo. Um, I'm not busy at work. I'm busy at work sorting this lot out. Huh? Huh? Uh, look, I've got my whole little minions running around doing the whole farm thing and everything. But it's because I built this house. They love this house, you see. I've got some butchers out here. They're scary. They keep shutting the door in my face. Um, I'm waiting for this guy to maybe like change his trades again because I've killed like a load of pigs for him and come back and he's changed his mind. And I decided, I'd said on stream, I'm not going to kill all your pig, all your ch uh, chickens. Right, um, I need to start getting these cows. I was going to start an iron farm. You know you guys. So one of the things I need to do is start working out how we're going to get iron coming in for machines and stuff. And iron golems are going to be the answer to that. So we're going to need to get an excess of villagers. And then we can start getting a breeding cell set up for getting iron golems going. That's going to be the key thing. They're going to build that on... That can be done passively, so we can just build that over there somewhere. We're going to get a load of iron, because mining's loads of work to do. Uh, meantime, I'm going to grab some wheat, because we need to start breeding the... Oh, the cat just, just scared the cat. Oh, cat's close enough. Oh, no, gone. Mike, are you supposed to catch one of them? obviously hiding in here I've uh, got nine wheat uh, no you can't have anything off you go these guys love carrots by the, by the looks of it absolutely love their carrots we've got any more wheat in here I have <gasps> one more and I can do a trade with that villager uh, excuse me Mr. Cow out the house. No. Out. Out. Not allowed in the house. The muddy footprints and stuff. There we go. That's what I need. Right. Who? Oh, it was you. Uh, you want an emerald, right? There we go. Get you traded up a little bit more. Right, is anyone else offering stuff for emeralds? No. No. Oh, is it meeting time? It's meeting time. It's meeting time. All the villagers have gathered. All come to the centre of that. Does anyone want to trade with me? No. You? No, you only you sell stew. Bread? Mm, could do that. Yeah, but, uh, let's get you up a bit more. Thanks. Uh, no, you want carrots. You haven't been traded with yet. Ah, oh, no, wheat. Need ah, oh, I should use the wheat to breed you up. Might go and see if I got some bones and grow a load of wheat. None in there. Right, I'm gonna go back to the main. Got 35 iron, so it's not a bad amount. Let's go and have a look in the main base and see if we've got some resources over there. I came on this morning thinking to myself, I know, I've got things I want to do. I want to get like, the whole iron going. And There's another cat. There's a grey cat. Oh my god, the place is going to be <laughs> surrounded in cats. <laughs> oh my god. It's, they've definitely, Mojang have definitely done a good job this time in bringing more life to the village. Look chickens, I need you guys. I don't know what the dog will do out there. Ah, fish, raw cod. I'll take them with me. Uh, 
uh, I'll take those spare eggs as well, see if I can get some chickens going. Nothing in any of these. Right, let's have a look down here. What have we got? Bones. And I'll take those extra eggs as well. Is there anything else? Did we get beetroot? I'm sure I saw a beetroot somewhere. Maybe not. Dark oak. Should actually take those and start growing a dark oak tree in the background. Red mushrooms. Sweet berries. Oh, we have got more sweet berries. Oh, okay. Uh, that's just cobble. What have we got? That's just redstone. I think in there. That's wool. We'll actually shear the sheep to get more beds. Uh, oh, that's wool. The wool should be in that one. That's probably my mistake. Got lots of diamonds, got some coal here. Um, don't think I've got some more emeralds. I could go and try to do a bit more trading with the villagers, try and get them to do a bit more with me. Don't need flint or a compass. Ah, eggs. I'm gonna see if I can get some whole growing. Go I've got cooked chicken. If I didn't grow the chicken quite so early on wouldn't have been a problem. Anything in there? No. In here, the library's slowly getting bigger. Um, so have you got any ideas on what type of villager house you can make? Um, I don't know. There's quite a good selection of houses. Oh, it's night time, we'll go back to bed. Um, there's quite a good selection of houses that you can get from the new villagers there's new styles in that that Mojang have introduced and I did think of having something a bit like bringing those in to start with um, but certainly being staying there chicken certainly been considering I like the white panels that we used on that house over there and the wood frame it's a style that I quite like I think it's very European. Uh, it's got a sort of almost like a bit of a German style to it. You know, that place you've never been to. Uh, and you keep reminding me. Right, so I'm going to see if I can get some of these. These chickens don't seem to want. Oh, I got one. Got a chicken. Come on, another chicken. Just one more. No. I have one chicken. Okay, that's not going to be very good. Uh, emeralds. Yeah, that's what I'm sort of thinking of. You just do stew. Wait, yeah, where? Ha ha ha. Halo's always joking to me about where is this Germany place. Because I haven't taken you on holiday there yet. But can I get... I'm trying to get this guy to, like, level up. We do need to go. Get inspiration for the build. Yeah, that's a good idea. I hadn't thought of that. This... Villager, where is he? I'm definitely going to get you up to the next level. Did that, did that advance him? No. Oh, I need one more. There we go. He's hopefully leveled up now. Yep. His little badge on the front there has changed colour. So he's now a an apprentice farmer. And he'll actually buy pumpkins for emeralds. Okay. Pumpkins. We can do that. We can, we can do that. We can do that. We'll get pumpkins going. We'll get the whole trading system going. Pumpkin seeds. I'm sure I saw pumpkin seeds somewhere. They're, they're not here though. Oh, pumpkins. Let's go find pumpkins. Right. Okay. Um. Uh, Berry bushes. 
Right, let's go and put, put some more of these down on the outside. Yeah, I like the Germanic style. I like the curvy roofs as well that you can get on a lot of the builds. I hear the cat. And they, they've got quite a nice sort of uh, style to them. I think they would, if you can sort of like add a little bit of a, like a steampunk feel to that as well, I think that'd be quite cool. Like bringing in a few reds and silvers and you know, sort of like bringing in that copper because we don't have copper in the game, but bringing in that metallic element to it as well. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to do, is get these dark oak trees going. I want to get a selection of each type of... Oh, where's the fish? Can I lure the cat to me with the fish? No, nope, he's running away. I'm just going to creep very slowly towards the cat holding a fish. Where's he gone? The step the cow did that. Oh, he's making little noises at me. Come on, pretty cat. If I stay really still, do you come to me? Yeah, I got a fishy. You want a fishy? Come on. Come on. Come get the fishy. I throw the fishy. Where the fishies on the floor? Yeah. Come on, come on little guy, come on, you can do it, are you, you, are you coming out the water to get the fishy, come on, it's a little bit closer, I know, you're making little cute noises at me, I have a fishy, come on, out the water, going okay, really slowly, I've obviously got to be very, very patient, coming out, oh, no he's spooked, Cat's vegetarian. <laughs> I've never heard of a vegetarian cat. <laughs> it so wouldn't surprise me in this game, though. Well, it, it was starting to come. Why is there a cow around the back here? What the heck are you doing? Get out! You silly mob. Right. I'm going to go plant this tree over here. We need to get some of these trees going so we've sort of got different wood types. Good morning, Becca. Welcome to the stream. There has been lots of progress overnight. My dearest and beloved partner, Halo, is uh, lurking in chat there. Uh, so overnight the baby villager grew up and we now have five uh, I don't know whether he grew into five or whether there's just lots more breeding going on but the carrots definitely did the trick we now have three farmers and we have two butchers and there's a cat here somewhere which is gone again I've been trying to get the cat to come to me we have an iron golem as well just pretty good going. I, I, this is this is my favourite build. I don't think I've even shown Halo this yet. You need to get on here, Halo, and have a look at this. Uh, so we've got the two butchers out here. Look at this. Uh, he really doesn't like me. He keeps pushing me out. Look, we've got this whole fire. Look at that. They're, like, cooking the food and doing the business. And they're, like, giving me this evil look. It's like, what do you want? Yeah, and he wants... I killed loads of pigs for you. And now you don't want them. So that's, that is super duper cool. But I'm not killing the pigs now. I'm not going to eat the pig stuff until I get a bit further along. Um, pumpkins. You want, Someone wanted a pumpkin. You wanted pumpkins. 
and you want weight and emeralds. I need to like advance you up and then. Oh, the sun's going down. Look, look, it's meeting time. I got one chicken. One chicken. One chicken. Look, they all go over there and have a chat around the bell. Like evening gathering. We're all having a chat. They should be like discussing the fact that I've been trading with them and that I'm like a super duper dude. I've been bringing all these animals and food in for them. Yep, yeah, me, me, that's me. And they, they have a chat about the fact they've got an iron golem in the area. Make sure there's no like nasties. They're like pottering about. And then any moment they'll just like all decide it's late and we should all go to bed. I'm gonna. Oh, I've got cows following me around now and sheep. I need to collect some of this wheat up. Oh, lag. Oh, got it. And then I can trade with that. Where'd that cat go? Around here somewhere. The little orange one is awesome. Uh. Iron golems will spawn if you have many villagers or if any monsters scare the villagers. Yeah, they, they do. It's a really good mechanic. So much easier than trying to get like 20 doors, 10 villagers, build a lake in the middle to get them spawning and that. So that's something I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, once we've got an, a few more villagers, I need to put some more beds down and stuff. We'll like take a few of the villagers away and get them working on spawning more iron golems because y you can stay you get name tags for all these guys as well we'll name them up and that'll be really cool i wonder if there's any carrot trading going on between these oh bones that's what i brought over yeah right i'm gonna get loads of i'm gonna like proper like Spam up. One at a time through the door. Goodness me. I want to get loads of wheat going so I can trade with that villager again. And there's this thing, this I think it's the same village. No, I think there's a thing where I really need to look at the settings on the on the server because the villagers are not going to bed. I think what's happening is to like reduce lag. If they're out of range, certain range from me, they won't move. Reduces lag on the server. I like this texture pack on the um, the wheat. So that you can actually see when stuff's grown. I don't know whose field this was. And what they're going to end up growing here again now. Just get this all grown up. And uh, if they're growing carrots, and that's a priority, I think, for them. A spawner farm as well that's something else we're going to need so i don't know becca do you do a lot of redstone type stuff like to get crops growing or animals or iron farms and stuff like that what i could do is i could do some episodes where i just focus on that sort of stuff can't tell which is the. Oh, that's a carrot. That's wheat. That's wheat. Parrot! I heard him! Did you hear the parrot? Where's the parrot? There he is! Halo! Look! Parrot! He came back when I was in the jungle I found a parrot and I befriended him and I decided I would bring him back there we go 
Pete Mark II. There we go. Screenshot of that one. How awesome is that? Pete's back. This is like being an awesome episode. I forgot about him. Because he like vanished out of range and we he wouldn't come back. What's dying over here? Oh. Squid. That's really cool. Uh, right, I've got a load of wheat now. That's really good. And I've got a load of seeds, which I'm not going to do anything with. Right, actually, I could use this, uh, seeds in the composter, can't I? It's not very efficient. But it will get me some more bone meal. I can grow the plants up a bit more. There'll be some mobs running around on the outsides now, I reckon, as well. Yes, yeah, so if I do things like collect... I heard a zombie. If I collect... Uh... He's getting louder, isn't he? Hear a chicken. I hear a baby zombie somewhere. Go find them in a minute. Yeah, if I get some iron hoppers going, I can like automate this stuff. That'd be really useful for getting bone meal produced and that oh, wasn't quite enough of that. Right. Where is that zombie? Is it in the farm grounds? No. Not around this side, can't get around there. Are they in the water? If they do that, you get like drowns in the water. No. I'm standing here and heard them. Maybe there's a cave underneath me or something. Oh, that's louder. <laughs> No, definitely can't see any nasties. Oh, there's an incoming spider. Oh, I've got to be careful not to hit anyone else. Oh, oh nice job, Mr. Gollum. Oh, look, there's a zombie. Look, the iron golem's going nuts. Like, come in here, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I know he can't get in because all the bushes are there. He won't walk on the bushes, you see. It adds like a defence wall. That's really good. That's working well. Yep, so these all keep out the nasties. If I lure that skeleton, that uh, zombie around here. Skeleton might... Uh, look, he's ready. He's going to have him. Get the cow out of the way. We take him on. There we go. I've got the reach with the sword. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's one. There's a zombie. Deal with him. Nice job, Mr. Iron Golem. I would high fi you for you, but you'll probably then kill me. Excellent. Doing their job. You two should be in bed. I don't know why you're sniffing cocoa beans. Dude. Go on. Bed. Go on. Go to bed. Look, I'll ring the bell. Bed. Are they getting stuck behind the cocoa? But they are. Stupid villagers. Get stuck behind the cocoa beans. <laughs> They've both gone to bed now. Technically, um, baddies running around. I'll keep the cocoa beans up higher so they can pathfind better. That's good. Ah, bit of zombie flesh. Got some fish going. Got the wheat going. 
Where did that cat go? It's here somewhere. somewhere. Yep, we got an iron golem. He is awesome. He's doing an awesome job. He's going to have to be named as well. You didn't, you didn't mention the uh, the parrot. Look, parrot. Don't know if you saw that bit in the video. I want the brown. I could I could I can make them myself. Yeah, for like guarding the area. I'm going to try and creep up on this cat. I'm going to try, hopefully the parrot won't scare it off. Come on, pretty cat. Why is he going in the water again? Look, I've got a fish. He's got blue eyes. Oh, he's cute. Are there any others? No, the only one. Do you have to like... Oh, as soon as you move, they run away. But if I stand up, do they come to me if I stand up? No. Really not getting close. He's just like crawling very slowly. I am not moving a muscle, although the poor little cat now can't walk over the fence. Bye. No, so, ah, no, don't go in the berry bushes. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. The cat and the parrot are now having a little conflab. Don't scare him off. Where are you going? Oh. Parrots now. <laughs> Yet yeah, don't you land on the berry bushes either. I got seed. Have I got seed? No, I got no seeds. Right. Okay. That's not bad going. Right. Uh, where's the villager with the, with the wheat? Are you all up? Are you all like having breakfast? Uh, there you are. Let's get your trades locked in. There we go. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Uh, you will now trade for apples. What do you do? Uh, you're locked in. You're locked. You offer that. Where's the other butcher? Is he out here? He's not out there. Where's the other butcher? Oh, stop closing the door on me. Where's the other butcher? I've lost him. Oh, there he is. He's down here. He's admiring the view. Hello, sir. Would you like to trade? You only still want raw chicken. Oh, you're going to do this to me now, aren't you? You're not going to change. The parrot's sitting over there on the fence. And this lot are doing... What are you doing on the workbench? I swear, the villagers are like really weird. So give them some bread. Do you like some bread? Will you pick up bread? Do you still like eat bread? And things will that make you like trade babies oh you're farming are you there we go look have some bread I'm throwing all the bread at you there we go that's it right cool that should make him do some stuff. They're all busy doing their plantings thing. Where's the one that wants emeralds? Not used to. Probably yeah. Uh, just want to like get them traded up to unlock all their trades. Um, I'm gonna have apples off you. Thank you very much. I think that's about it for me. 
I think it, these morning streams are just going to be like a little bit of working around. Oh my god, there's a creeper. Alright, going to have to deal with him. Long range bow attack. There we go, he's dead. Um, Yeah, just like running around doing some little bits. Alright, I've seen a cat. This is my last chance. To like creep in on the cat. It's a brown one. Just gonna nudge forward a little bit at a time. Oh, it's seen me. It's seen me. And I gave it two pieces of fish. And it's run away. Okay. I guess I have to keep feeding them fish until they're my friends. Guess that's the way it works. I have a dandelion. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much going to wrap up now because I need to get ready and actually go to work. Well, I am ready. Huh. Fitting music at the very right time. Yep, so I'm going to end here. I'm going to log off. Thanks very much for popping in, guys, and watching my stream this time of the morning. Uh, it's really good. I keep this little area maintained in the mornings. I think that's what I'll do. And we'll do like the proper projects on a Tuesday and on a Wednesday. And Tuesday, Halo will be joining me so we can both muck in and do some projects and get some stuff going and make some plans as to what we're going to do next. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.